Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR, and you're checking out part three of this first look video series. And in this video of the uh, Synth Anthology 2 first look, I'm going to be diving in and playing a bunch of presets. So this sucker comes with 2,500 presets. I obviously can't touch on all of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the different iterations and kind of versions of certain types of sounds. So for instance, I'm going to start with classic analog, play a couple of the basses, go to the modern analog, play a couple of the basses, go to the uh, analog modeling, play, play a couple of the basses, and just work down the list. So first thing we're going to start with, though, is the atmospheric and ethereal. Now I'm going to turn off the microphone and just dive right in.
All right, guys, so that sums up the presets playthrough. Again, this thing comes with 2,500 presets. I can't possibly play them. Sorry for all the mess ups. I was playing this live and I'm not the greatest keyboard player, but I wanted to give you like a final thought on the library. If you're looking for hardware style synths, or if you've always been like, damn, I can't afford hardware synths, me, I can't either, right? So, um, if you've ever been in that boat, this is a great library. It's easy to use. You can't really get into. Uh, into like the whole getting lost in programming. It, a lot of it does sound like it will fit nicely in modern productions. I feel like I could use almost all or only sounds from synth anthology too. And, my, and a track that I create with it would still sound fairly modern. But where I think it excels is like the weird random sounds. So I don't hear a lot of like bread and butter sounds that I would be like, okay, this would fit a future bass track, a trap track a uh, Mumbaton track, a pop or hip hop. But what I do hear are sounds that I can layer into a production where I'm using synths like Serum or Massive or Silent or whatever it may be. And I want maybe like a analog hardware style bass or I want some weird piano, a weird mallet or percussion. There's even some percussive sounds in here and like effects sounds. That's where I think it excels. And I forgot to play these during the, um, the presets walkthrough. <laughs> And for Tropical House, that'd be really cool. Right, imagine layering that with like a Tropical House flute lead. So 
So it, it just has a whole different timbre because they're sampled from really weird uh, kind of eclectic synths. And that to me is the coolest part because there are 77 total hardware synthesizers that they are samplers that they pulled from. So you're not just getting like rehashes of Junos and uh, you know 303s and Moogs, that sort of stuff. The stuff that's been sampled to death. You're getting some weird synths that you probably would never get to touch otherwise. So for 99 bucks, I think it's worth it. If you guys are interested in that uh, $99 price point, make sure you get it before I believe it's November, November 14th. So there you guys go. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>